This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Kyle, first time on the channel, at least directly. He's been on a few matches, I think, before when I had the overhead, but he's now officially old enough to actually be on the channel, and he's had a good outing today, so we decided to show off his deck profile. So, what are you playing and how did you get on? Uh, so today I am playing Invoked Shadol. Um, I got top four at today. Uh, did very well. Deck performed very well for, my, for me. Uh, I won. Uh, went three one in Swiss. Um, beat uh, Tri Brigade game in my first top four, top eight match, and then lost to Tri Brigade in my next match. So very much it happens. But yeah, deck performed very very well today. Um, I have no compl I bring no complaints about it. To be fair. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll say we'll get into it. Okay, awesome, cool. We'll get stuck into the profile then. So, start us off whenever you're ready. Alright, man. So, obviously, no one, this won't surprise a single person. I'll say three Alistair. Yep. Best, best monster in the deck. Uh, get some Georgia package, obviously. And then, um, that's, I play a very heavy Shadol uh, monster lineup. So, um, three Squamata, um, two Wendy, and two Hedgehog. Yep. And then, just for the one of there's the one Beast, the one Dragon, the one Falco, the one Ariel. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and just to clarify, you're not playing the uh, Dogmatica package, are you? Just um, no, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit of a budget player, to be fair. So, um, that stuff was a little bit out of my price range. Sure, sure. But honestly, I kind of really like it like this. Yeah. So it works well enough. Yeah, I mean, it works, it's works well it's results. It's top four, so it's yeah. we work, it takes work very well. And then um, the we play the six hand traps, which are three Vela and three Ash. Yep. So um, these are obviously really good because their attributes obviously help you get into into your Shadow stuff and your invoke stuff. Yeah. Obviously, they're just very good generic hand traps to have. Yep. So yeah, that's that for the monster lineup of the deck. Uh, let me just apologise as well if there's a little bit of noise in the background. We are still at our locals, so we'll pick up a little bit with that. But carry on, sorry, don't let me interrupt you. So that's it for the monster lineup, heading into the spell lineup, of course. The four magical meltdowns. Yep. Also, it's the best card in the entire deck. It's helped your opponent cannot interrupt any Russian fusion stuff. Like, I don't, don't need to say more. I also get you down to one or. Yep. And then we play these fusion spells, which are, of course, triple Shadol fusion yep. and triple uh, Eldsol fusion. I play a much heavier Shadol package, obviously, so play more of the fusion stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, three Super Poly. Very, very, very good card. Helps break boards and, you know, very good in that way. And they can't respond to it. And they can't respond to it at all. Why? So broken. And then um, two Invocation. Yep. Yeah, um, you don't need one. I see a lot of people play one, but two. Just standard, I think. Yep. Very good. And just the one of spells is the one called by the grave and the one foolish burial. Yep. And into the trap lineup, one resh, best card, and then uh, core. Yep. Do you find core comes up a lot or? Um, core. When core comes up, it's very very good. I'd say so. It helps. So in the grind game, at least something like contract or Squamata, you send core, you get back your doll fusion, you carry on going. It's really good. So it just keeps your resources. Yeah. And also, it also it. helps when you make it into a monster. It just gives you another monster to help fusion to fuse into. Sets up your super poly as well on the board. So just very good in general. Yep. Cool. And that's it for the main deck portion. Yep. Uh, I personally wouldn't change anything at the moment for our locals but um, I'm sure in the future it will definitely change yep and then heading off into the uh, extra deck so for the Shadol the um, I think you may have missed one there sure. there she is hiding <laughs> might need that <laughs> maybe um, and then for the Shadol portion we are playing two Construct yep um, two uh, Winder yep and two Apclone so obviously I'm not playing the Dogmatica stuff so you don't pay more to send off so uh, yeah these cards just very good Winder broken Obviously, very, very good. And yep. against Tri Brigade, I found myself making App Cologne a lot more, so I can negate their stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Uh, so, yeah, that's 
all that, and then going into the invoked Spurge stuff. One Mechaba, one Raijin, one Pank Trio, one Agoides. Yep. So that's just very bog standard. Agoides is broken. Agoides is so good. Like, you make like, like you make it, you pop a card, it helps get you into OGKs, and also it works in your opponent's turn as well. So yep. it's just another thing you have to try and play around. So yep. That's very good. And then going into the Link the stuff of the deck, we are playing the one Artemis, the um, Almirage, the Gravity Controller, and the Verte Anaconda. Yep. So that's it for the um, extra deck. Yep. And then going into the side deck, uh, we are playing Triple Lancia, Triple Skullmeister, um, Triple Contact C. This was um, experimental for today. Uh, it only ever came up once and wasn't really that effective, so we'll, we'll keep testing it and see how it comes up. And then the other aerial for the uh, graveyard heavy eccentric decks, you play two aerial, you break the um, graveyard, that's how you win. Yep. And then that's it for the uh, monsters of the extra deck, or the side tech, sorry. Yep. And then for the um, uh, spells, harpies and twins as my back row um, breaking cards. Yep. And then everyone's favourite card, Mystic Mine. You're playing terraforming, so against certain deck matchups, you just sign in Mystic Mine, you search it, you activate it, you win. Yep. So if because against this deck, they're not going to be siding a lot of back removal, maybe cosmics for the schism. But uh, so yeah, um, playing this card, it just is works very very well. Yep. And then that's it for the actual profile. Um, so it's the sort of stuff that I would maybe like sort of experiment with. Maybe Skullmeisters, I might sort of those out for me, like Bell as Mr. Rufio over here has encouraged me to look into, so I probably will. And then um, for the extra deck, um, probably change it, maybe a little bit around, but we'll see, how it, we'll see how it goes. And that's it for my contribution to this channel. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I appreciate this is your first one, so always a little bit daunting, but you're doing well, so don't worry about it. But thank you very much for taking the time. Any shout-outs before we go? Uh, shout-outs to uh, for the Jam Jam Cards UK. Got me quite a few of these cards in this deck, so shout-out to them. Shout-out to Rufio for giving me this platform to show off this deck profile. Mm -hmm. uh, shout-out to, I'll say, Manuscrew, Best Locals in Northampton. And, uh, yeah, um, I might as well say it to him, because I know he's going to be watching this. Shout-out Thomas O'Neill, my mate over here at Locals. Uh, play Salamang great, utter pleb. So, just thought, just, just thought I'd get that insult in. But that's, um, yeah. yeah. Alright, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do this. Do really appreciate it. If you guys are watching and you haven't hit subscribe already, you should definitely consider doing so. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.